Hello. If you're listening to this, then you believe we have a fighting chance. If you were around my last recording, you'd know that we successfully cured my friend the Unintended Terror. And now we're working to cure her race. Which reminds me. How's it doing down there? I just finished 900 so far. I told them through our language what you were planning, so they were most cooperative. It's a good thing this ship has loudspeakers, or I would have left screaming. It's the only way I could talk to them without going near them. How'd you get them to trust you? It wasn't hard. Uh, you ready there? Yes, Your Majesty. Your royalty? Yes, so? How come you didn't tell me sooner? You didn't ask. Besides, I didn't want to be treated any differently than my people, so it's never come up until now. What kind of royalty are we talking here? Well, if we were to make a comparison to your race, our culture is a mix between the lifestyle of your natives, which would make me a chief, formerly war chief, and even more formally, the daughter of a well-respected chief. But our hierarchy is similar to that of a monarchy society, so I guess you could say I was a princess, as well as a general, but now I'm the acting queen. Well, good to know that. I understand you don't want special treatment, but I may need to use the status if it comes in handy. Is that okay, Blood Brother? Whatever's necessary, Blood Brother. So, how many more to go? Only 100 more. It shouldn't be too difficult. There's only a thousand of you left? really did their damage, didn't they? Well, that was the initial problem. When you're surviving out in space and on planets where people react to you in fear, running is the only one option. Some of them felt the need to shoot us. Sorry to hear that. It's fine. That's the price one pays for war. Judging by what's been happening these past days, they didn't die in vain. All finished. Okay, come on to my office in a few minutes and we'll discuss fitting the weapons onto your ships. I'm on my way! Do you really have to do that every time you come to me? Well, normally no, but it's been a while since I've been in contact with other races. Just touching others means the world to me, plus it's our way of showing affection. I appreciate that. Now, I've taken pictures of their consoles and their engine room with my robot. Not much, but enough to drop schematics so that we may duplicate their tech enough to fit it on ours and yours. Since this was one of the ships made of our stuff, it was easier to do than, say, one of their originals. So even without the ship, you'd still have the design capabilities. Exactly. But I wouldn't have got them without it. Now all you gotta do is... Excuse me for a moment. Hello? Oh yeah, sure, come right over if it's important. Bye. Ah, shit. What's wrong? Remember those joys that tried to rush us when we took their ship? Yeah, what about them? Well, the good news is, even with this, they don't know where we are. The bad news, however, is that my supervisor just called. The joys went over my head and they reported the vehicle stolen. So now my supervisor, along with a couple of agencies I told you about, are headed here. I see. Is there anything I can do? Are any of your races fast as you? Yes, and they are strong in numbers. Good. Get them to hide the photos and tell them to stay out of sight. But I need you to stay with me. If I can show proof that you're not a threat, she might take it easy on me. Got it. Is she a queen too? No, but she may as well act as one from time to time. All in all, she's an okay person. She's just trying to make sure that the Earth isn't at war. But she can be quite strict. I'm not really as by the book as her. But it's not her I'm worried about. If the other agents are here, we may have a joy situation on our hands, or worse, she may end up getting pressured by them. Maybe I can reason with her. It's worth a shot. Here they come. To what do I owe the pleasure, boss? Grand theft. Unauthorized execution of extraterrestrials, failure to conceal identity, in more than one way the unethical treatment of deceased specimens, and reckless driving resulting in two speeding tickets. This had better be good or I will put you through test nine again. Test nine? What is that? Before we discovered we were not alone in the universe, we used to be a part of the paranormal research facilities. Much of the testing was involving, among most things, mind control and unlocking of psychic abilities. Test 9 was the use of LSD 
and other hallucination inducing drugs while being forced to watch every horror movie known to the human race. I'm gonna ignore the fact that you just gave out classified info to an unauthorized ET and ask you two questions. One, what is that thing doing in your office? And two, why aren't you running away screaming from it? That thing happens to be my friend, and we cured her affliction along with her race no longer than ten minutes ago. You can't seriously believe that. I mean, where's your proof? I knew you guys were dumb, but I never thought you were blind. The proof is standing right in front of you. Not anymore, it's not. Try it, and you'll end up as dead as the joys. They didn't tell you, did they? This terror was one of the many survivors of a planet the Joyce previously visited. It's true. The Joyce destroyed our planet, just like they're going to destroy yours. Don't spread your lies, you skin-wearing trash. Hey, that's no way to talk to royalty. Royalty? What are you talking about? Don't listen to them. The Joyce identified this man as a culprit. That may be true, but under Article 4C2D, royalties from other worlds have diplomatic immunity. You should know you were there when they gave Prime his. And any attempt to assassinate her, be it from human and alien alike, triggers a war. He's right. Our agent here may not have respect for authority, but it doesn't mean he doesn't know the laws. You can't touch her. Thank you. And as for you, if you don't want your face to be my new cape, I'd advise you to put that fucking gun down now. Fine, I may not get you, but I'm still taking the ship back. Are you out of your mind? If they get their ship back, they'll have access to the GPS on it and track our HQ down. Well, you should have thought of that before you stole it. Now hand it over. I'm sorry, he's right. Fine. It's at the docking station. It should be empty. We got all we need from it. Thank you for your cooperation. Prime will definitely reward me for this. You'll get what you deserve. That's what I'm counting on. It's not every day I finally get to destroy this disgrace of an agency. Enjoy having the stupidity sucked out of you. Bullshit aside, it was nice seeing you again. And you, come see me sometime. I'd love to hear about your race sometime, your highness. Okay then, nice seeing you too. You two didn't arrive in the same vans, did you? Of course not. If you plan on doing what I think you're gonna do, I didn't hear it. Gotcha. I can't believe you just let them take the ship! Not quite. My robot is still on board. Did you memorize the self-destruct sequence? <sighs> Yeah, it's red, red, orange, orange, yellow, yellow, white, violet, white, violet. Okay. Please tell me he died. I really hated that man. Well, if he didn't, he wish he had. There wasn't much radiation to cause much damage to the area, but if he survived that blast, he'll have a bad case of lymphoma. You're full of surprises yourself. If you were one of us, you'd make a great soldier. I could say the same about you. Hey, what are you doing? Just picking a piece I want. Unlike us, you have so much to choose from. Plus, you got great texture. Have you ever used your own skin for clothing? Yeah, but unlike your race, there was no honor in it. Some people used it as both clothing and as a food source. They don't even wait until the person is dead to do it. How barbaric! I at least wait till my kills are dead. Plus, I tried skin as a food before, not really a good taste. It varies from species to species. Some food animals we use often have the skin as the best part. Interesting, I'll have to try some. In due time. Until then, we have work to do. Did your people successfully had the photos? They did. I also told them to listen to your authority too, so they are yours to command. It's why I use my language instead of the translator. 
Think of our language as similar to your signatures. We don't consent to anything unless it's in our own tongue. Very clever. All right, listen up. Now that you're here to the affliction brought to you by the joys, here's the plan. We're going to divide ourselves into three separate teams. The first to 50 will gather all the tools they need to duplicate your ship using our raw materials and fitting the weaponry of the joys on yours. Once done, you will man three of them. Your mission will be to seek out every joy occupied planet and free the subsequent races they have enslaved to join your fight. The next 250 will make this headquarters stronger. I don't know how far the liaison went, but we have to anticipate a potential joy attack on its base. I need it immune to their influence and stronger than their rubber skin. The next 450 will use the DNA changers on their ships to make the joys repulsive to humans. Give them a taste of their own medicine. And the last 50, Team X, are needed to duplicate the joy ship. Why would we do that? Read Homer's Odyssey sometimes, you'll understand. As for me, once everything is set up, we're gonna head straight for Joy Prime. Finally, I get to tear him apart! Yes, you do. Now everybody knows their roles, so let's get to it. Thank you for listening, you will remember this.